So now we know about inheritance, we know about constructors. In this video, we'll talk about super keyword or super method. So what exactly super is? Well, just to understand that, what we'll do is let's try to understand the uh, the working of constructors when it comes to inheritance and then we'll, we'll understand the real power of super keyword. For that, what I will do is I will simply use a simple class name as A, uh, which, I, which I'm doing from a long time. So let's say we have class A and we have class B and both these classes they have a constructor so let's say if, uh, in this class a i have a constructor which is public a and i'm printing there so let's say this is in a okay we'll simply say in a and in class b again i have a constructor here which is public b and in this i'm printing the same stuff which is in b so we got class a and class b till now we don't have any relationship between b and a what i do is i will simply say class b extends class a so class B is a subclass now and A is a superclass. Now if I create the object of A, so if I say A obj1 equal to new A, so now you can see I'm creating object of A not of B and if I simply say, I mean if I simply create the object of it, of course uh, when you create the object it will, it will call the constructor, right? It will call the constructor of A and if you run this code, okay, so we got our output there which is in A, right? That means when you create an object of A, you get the constructor, it, it calls the constructor of A. But how about if I create the object of B? Now B is a bit different, right? Because B extends A, so B is a subclass now. So let's see how it, how it behaves when I create object of B. Now when I create object of A, it calls the constructor of A, but what about B? If I create object of B, what happens now? Will it call constructor of B? Let's try. So if you run this code, you can see that's weird, right? We are creating object of B, but why we are getting object, I mean, constructor of A. So that means when you call, when you create object of subclass, it is calling the subclass constructor plus it is also calling the superclass constructor. So the concept says whenever you try to create the object of subclass, it will also create the, it will also call the constructor of superclass. So it will call the constructor of superclass, then it will call the constructor of subclass. Okay, that's why you got in A and in B. So this is the point to remember. Whenever, whenever you create object of subclass, it creates, I mean, it calls the constructor of superclass and subclass both. Now, what I will do is, in this two class, I will have two more constructors and which will be a parameterized constructor. As we have seen that, we can create parameterized constructor, right? We can have two constructors in the same class. That's constructor overloading, right? So we have this constructor here. Let me copy that and we'll do the same thing here. We'll say this is in a int. So I'm creating a constructor which is in a int. Let me copy that and we'll paste it here also and we'll print in b int. So you can see in class a and in class b we have a constructor. Okay, so you can see we have we have two classes a and b and both has two constructors, a default one and a parameterized. Now if, if I create the object of b which is the default one, if I run this code, of course it will call the default constructor, right? Let me pass a value here. If I pass a value 5, so if I pass a value 5, it will call the constructor which is the parameterized constructor of b, right? But what about the constructor of a? Will it call the default one or will it call the parameterized one? As we are passing the parameter, we're expecting that it should call both parameter, right? A and B, both parameter. And if you run this code, it's a bit different. We got the output as in A and in B int. It's because whenever you create object of subclass by specifying the parameter, it will call the specified constructor of subclass where it will call the default constructor of superclass. So it doesn't matter what type of object you create, you're creating an object with parameterized one or default one, it will call the default constructor of superclass. That's, that's, that is something it will do. What if I don't want to call the parameterized, I, mean, I don't want to call the default one, I want to call the parameterized one. Uh, how to do that? So what we'll do now is, first of all, let's try to understand why it is calling the default constructor. So once we get that, why it is calling the default constructor, then we'll understand how to call the parameterized one. So what happens is every constructor, so every constructor in subclass will have a by default method here called as super. So even if you don't mention that, even if you don't mention super, it will be calling, I mean, the, it will be super there. So if you don't mention super there, it will be there by default, it will be given by your compiler, okay? And we have a super here also. Now, since we are creating a constructor, which is by passing five, 
which will call the parameter wise constraint of B and it is calling super when you say super super simply means it will call the constructor of the super class so when you say super and bracket it will call the constructor of super class now since we don't have any parameter here because by default if you don't mention that your compiler will put the default one which, which, which doesn't have any parameter and that's why it is calling the default one but how about if I pass this i here if I'm passing that i there what happens is this will call the parameterized constructor of the superclass which is the public a int and that's why if you run this code now so we got in a int in b int so when you create a constructor by passing a parameter it will call this constructor first but it will not execute this this statement here before executing the statement it will call the constructor of superclass by passing a value okay which is i i mean so you're passing this value and it is it is printing that statement there okay and that's why that's how your super works but how about if i don't let's say if i don't pass a parameter it will call the default constructor of b right which is of course so when you don't mention the parameter here it will call the default constructor of b and it is calling the default constructor of a which is this but let's say i want to call the default of b and parameterize of a what you can do is you can simply pass a number here so if you pass 5 it will call the parameterized one that's why the output you will be getting is in a int and in b so if you run this code that is what we are getting here okay simple so that's how you can specify a super method so this is super method here